Well, the images look real, but they're actually computer generated forgeries and artificial intelligence continues to advance. It can take in what you're seeing and create a high resolution picture by apparently reading your mind. News Nation Sloan Glass is live in New York. So Sloan, tell us how this works. Nicole, it works by interpreting what you are seeing from a brain scan and turning that into a photo. This work has been done before, but because of computer learning, these photos are much more detailed. And there are numerous implications from someday possibly turning our dreams into photos to helping nonverbal people communicate. Imagine you are looking at a bird. Now imagine if without describing what you see, an image of that same bird appeared on a screen. They're scanning people's brains while they look at pictures. Uh, and then they're taking those brain scans and reconstructing pretty detailed versions of the images that the people actually saw. A team of researchers at Stanford University, the National University of Singapore, and the Chinese University of Hong Kong have turned human brain waves into AI-generated pictures of what a person was seeing. Some call it mind reading, but scientists believe this could be the key to unlocking our inner world. They're uh, having the model create art, create new photographs, create pictures. Uh, but instead of basing it on like words that you type in, it's based on the uh, brain recording that they get. Some photos don't look right at all. Others are spot on. After having participants look at thousands of pictures, researchers found that the AI was able to generate images matching the original photo's attributes with 84% accuracy. This is just the latest work combining artificial intelligence with brain scanners. Scientists have used similar technologies to analyze the brain waves of nonverbal paralyzed patients and turn them into sentences on a computer screen in real time. Dr. Alex Hurth's work involves neuroscience and computer science. The hope is that like, if these things work with fMRI, maybe we'll eventually be able to uh, use other techniques that are also non-invasive to record the same kinds of signals. We are uh, all already cyborgs. Elon Musk is developing the brain implant Neuralink in the hopes it will eventually be a cure for conditions such as paralysis and blindness. As miraculous as it may sound, uh, we're confident that it is possible to restore full body functionality to someone who has a severed spinal cord. But there are real concerns over privacy, reading people's thoughts, and who has access to this technology. Musk, along with other futurists, recently warned of the potential dangers of AI, calling for a six month pause on all AI development. We're finding ourselves at an interesting time. The same technology that could help nonverbal people communicate is expected to take 85 million jobs worldwide by 2025, which makes the case for AI regulation so compelling. Nicole? Yes, yeah, so many people calling for that. All right, Sloan, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.